Uh, yeah, so my name is Mark Paris. I'm an employee of Axnex Incorporated. I'm an associate director of molecular biology, which means that I have a group of employees who are responsible for manipulating DNA, doing gene cloning, and generally supporting the research and development efforts here at Axnex. And I think, as with any position, I would say that the, the best thing to do is really just to put your heart into your work and really um, um, believe in what you're doing and, uh, and get a sense of um, accomplishment on a daily basis. Um, uh, and importantly, too, I'd say as you approach any position, any job, any company, really make it your business to know what the company does even before you start the position. So, so as far as approaching interviews go, I, again, I think the best thing to do is to be as prepared as possible. Um, you don't necessarily know, have to know exactly what the company does on a day-to-day -day basis, but know enough about the, the field that the company works in or the general, in our case, the general biology behind what we do as a company so that you can have a meaningful discussion on those topics while, you, while in the interview. So as far as preparing resumes go, um, as you can imagine, uh, you'll get a whole host of students applying for one particular position. So what really makes you stand out is a list of the coursework that you've taken, the specific skill sets that you've acquired while taking the coursework, and most importantly is a list of the experiences that you've had both in the laboratory settings within RIT and in in labs outside of RIT, so perhaps jobs that you've had in the future during summers, um, at other labs, at other academic institutions, or perhaps even at other co-ops. Um, those look very good. Um, as far as Vaxnix is concerned, as a commercial, as a corporate entity, um, we really like students who understand what the corporate objectives are as opposed to just academic science, perhaps um, sort of interest-based and knowledge-based science. We like students who have that exposure, have been, have been exposed already to corporate science. So, a summary as far as um, the co-ops go, what I would recommend is that you use the co-op opportunity to gain exposure to as many different types of science uh, fields and as many different techniques as you possibly can. Uh, it's only going to serve you in the future as far as um, either picking a career path or um, helping to identify your interests within the field of science in general. So um, use it for both learning technologies and techniques and for just the general knowledge that you might gain being exposed to the various projects and, and programs that the company is, is working on.